Hey guys, welcome to I don't Never want nobody out of you. I don't want to be associated Never with you. Feel stronger. Sick so motherfucker. I, as a kid, was someone who never really suffered with like a lot of um, anxiety or anything like that, but through growing up on social media, it's definitely developed, which sucks to say, but I've found different ways to cope with everything. The reality is that the, the hookup, if you will, that was being discussed was completely consensual and was with a boy who told me he was bisexual and later on told the world he was bisexual. And therefore there's nothing wrong with that. And the reality also is, is that a lot of times whether people be gay or straight or somewhere on the spectrum in between, it is very normal to experiment with your sexuality and fluidity and just see like what you're really into. Pretty much everyone that I've literally ever communicated with, whether it be a full on, like week long little fling or a simple hiya, you're cute, in the Instagram DMs, came out and started saying that I was talking to them, um, which just created a whole spectacle of me. I'm not actively looking, but if something comes along, unfortunately, with my job, like I said, there are so many blessings with it, but with those blessings come a lot of people that see those blessings as an opportunity for themselves to either come up or get financial gain or get followers or attention or take me down with them, which has been attempted. So I'm just careful and lonely. If you ever leave me, baby, literally losing millions and millions of subscribers and losing a lot of other friends that I once thought I was so close to in the community um, within literally minutes over false accusations really showed me who the true people in my life were and how to really judge somebody um, and their character. I, like I said, I'm not mentally in a place where I want to be. Um, and what's even harder to kind of swallow is that it's been six months since all the drama happened in May. Um, and I thought by this time I'd be completely good, back to normal, if you will, super happy. And that's not the case. We're really quickly getting to a point where the cyberbullying and the bandwagon hating and the cancel culture is just getting stronger and stronger and people are having fun with this and that is probably the most horrifying thing to actually say and I really hope that it doesn't take somebody doing something dangerous to themselves like a major public figure or a celebrity or an influencer to show people like these words have consequences. all day long, every single day, in the middle of the night, every 10 minutes, to make sure I didn't do something that I could never take back. So, that's all I got on that before I start crying and mess up this blue eyeshadow that I just took two hours on. I'll never be your mother's favorite Your daddy can't even look me in the eye Ooh, if I was in their shoes, I'd be doing the same thing 
say 